talking tunes and it's time for our weekly installment of dougie what's his head and it's time for movie talk but have you seen the original walking tall with with uh um Buford, the, you know, Buford Pusser, but it was... Yeah, Joe Don Baker. Joe Don Baker, yeah. 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 Now, see, I that was never around forever, but now they got the, the Walking Tall 1 and Walking Tall 2 with a different guy, you know. It wasn't Joe Don Baker. It was another guy no, that played him, the Bo second Benson one. Bo Benson or somebody. Yeah, Bo was somebody, yeah. And, and uh, then they did the one with The Rock. Yeah, then there's one with The Rock, which I didn't like, but... Really? Um, you didn't like it? Well, I, I, I got used to the, I wanted the original, you know, the walking, the original oh. walking tall, but then I watched the original walking tall and then I watched the one with the rock and then I liked the one with the rock better because yeah. it was like, it was, it was dated, you know, and it, it's funny when it gets dated like that, you know, you think it back at the time it was, it was the greatest movie ever and you right. watch it now and it's like, and then you hear that sappy music and the, you know, well, just, yeah. Well, that was like the um, that was like the uh, when I was telling you about somewhere in time. Yeah, you know yeah. that thing was um, that that was just so dated. I was so oh so bad. But it, but the only thing I could say great about that because I didn't watch that and I ended up giving it to my daughter in law because I couldn't ever think about watching it ever again. Was but <laughs> but it was uh, you know Jane Seymour. She's just a beautiful woman. And then, yeah. uh, you know, all the scenes on, on Mackinac Island, that was w- very cool. Let, so. let me ask you this. Um, yeah, I know you saw True Grit, the original. Did you see the True Grit with... Um, yeah, Jeff, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges, yeah. What did you think of that? You know, I wasn't... It was, once again, just like I always thought that uh, Glenn Campbell was such a terrible actor in playing that, the, the guy that partnered up with him. Who was yeah. it? It was, what's his name now? It's, um, he's a famous actor that played the other part on it, but, um, Is it the guy from the Martian? Uh, no, the guy, wasn't it the guy that was with, uh, with Lady Gaga, the one that, uh, what the heck's his name? God, I can't remember his name. Drawing a complete blank on it. But anyway, the guy that, that played his uh, sidekick, I thought was terrible in it. So, yeah, but, but Jeff Bridges, I thought he did a great job. I mean, you know, he's not John I thought, Wayne, I thought but he, he played a good John part. Wayne remake, it was pretty good. I still like the original better, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good because usually they do those like they did Schwarzenegger's uh, the oh, Mars yeah, true. movie, yeah, yeah, total recall again. And I didn't, I you know, it's just not as good. Just well, like I don't know, did you watch, did you watch Total Recall again with Schwarzenegger? I mean, then oh, yeah. again, you did have, you know, you had some pretty beautiful ladies in that movie too, you know, so Sharon Stone was in there, was played as pretend a wife or Sharon whatever. Stone too, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but I like, I like that one. You know, the, I love the Judge Dredd that Sylvester Stallone did. I thought, I thought Rob Schneider was funny in it. Yeah. And everything. And then they made the new one with, um, the guy from Star Trek that plays Dr. McCoy. Um, and I didn't, I didn't think. From what I saw that one, I just didn't think it was really good, you know. Yeah, you you brought. Remember the uh, there's a there was a oh geez, what's his name? You talking about Rob Rob Reiner, and I remember him. He did uh, Animal, which was one of my <laughs> that was funny, a funny oh. movie. It was stupid, but it was very. I thought it was funny. Yeah, um, I didn't see that one. But. Yeah, but uh, he was in another movie. And it just re- recently came out. I think it was on Netflix. It was a you know that's one thing about Netflix right now. Um, um, Adam Sandler's producing a whole bunch of movies. You yeah, know? And, and he's uh, very loyal to his buddies. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he just produced this one too, and it was it was very funny. But I can't think of the name of it, so I shouldn't even brought it up. But but uh, yeah, it's, it, it, there's so many good movies out there now that I mean, if you really want to sit and watch movies all the time, you should. Don't, shouldn't have any problems and not watch one twice, you know. So, oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, there is. There's. Well, you know, what's funny is when you're watching regular TV. Like Kara was turning the channels today, and she's like, "It's Tombstone and Roadhouse. It's all that's on. It's Tombstone <laughs> and Roadhouse." And I love both of those. Me and Tommy used to watch them and just drive her nuts. It's like, Kara, your favorite show is on. It's Roadhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're. You're a big Patrick Swayze guy. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just saw, remember Point, Bl- Point Break? That oh, was yeah. On yeah. And yeah. Patrick with, Swayze. With Keanu was Reeves, the guy that never could act but always did pretty well. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's another guy that when you get him in the right role, yeah. it works for him, like the, the trilogy. Well, speed yeah, the trilogy, but Speed. I remember Speed Day, who he was in with Sandra Bullock. That's when I fell in love with, madly in love with Sandra. I fell in love with a lot of women in these movies. But anyway, Sandra, he fell in love with uh, Sandra Bullock on Speed, yeah. and, uh, and he, but he did the, good for that one, you know. The Neo one where he was Neo. Yeah. You know, um, what is the name of those? See, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of Kiana. I mean, you know, he's got to have somebody really good acting with him. Yeah, so. you, um. What's his head was in it with him? What's um, his head? Yeah, I remember him. He was God. good. Oh, I can't think of it. This is terrible. I know we're both getting old. we're both getting old. What can we say? <laughs> yeah, but he did three of them. He did a trilogy where it was a science fiction where he was in uh, a computerized. Oh world. yeah, yeah, Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix. He did good in those, and then he's done good with his John Wicks. See, I never you seen know? those. I never seen really um, seen Matrix either. Did you see the lake house? Uh, you, that sounds familiar. It's where he inherits this glass house from his dad, and then he finds out Sandra Bullock. It's like they're living in it in two different times, but they can. Oh yeah, yeah, it. I did see that. Yeah, yeah Sandra Bullock was in it. One. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, he, he but he hits his niche, these niche things, just like um, what's his head um, from you, the. You know a lot of what's his heads. Yeah. I do. My son in laws always like that. He goes, You can't say what's his head. Uh, but uh, the guy who plays Groot in uh, the Fast and Furious movies. Oh, yeah, see. Yeah. I, I watched guys. the first one. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, Vin Diesel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, plays like Groot the in the movies? in the galaxy. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're going you to like a lot the, of movies here, man. I know it. You're like all over the place. Do you like the Marvel movies? Yeah, oh yeah, I love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you know the Guardians of the Galaxy. When well, yeah, I, I grew, I grew up with, I grew up with the Super Friends, man. When you when you grow up, you oh, know, yeah. watching the cartoons with the Super Friends, and you know, I was a big fan of the Incredible Hulk, even the one with Bill Bigsby and uh, Lou yeah. Ferrigno. That was one of my favorites. Yeah. When I I wasn't even a kid then, my kids got to see that one. You know, did you ever watch the King of Queens where Lou Ferrigno moves next door? Oh yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. You know, then their neighbor is Lou Ferrigno. Well, speaking of Lou, uh, King of Queens, that's what I was trying to think of the other day. That's because uh, uh, Jerry Seinfeld just, not Seinfeld, Jerry um, Stiller. Stiller just passed away not too long ago. Yeah. And I, as far as King of Queens go, I think he was the funniest thing in there myself. But, you know. You no, know, he, uh, Kevin James, he was going to retire. Yeah. And Kevin James said, no, I want you in my show. And uh, he he was he was hilarious. He was hilarious. I mean, I I got a chance to talk to uh, Estelle Harris, who played his wife in Seinfeld, and uh-huh. uh, she said he was just a, a fun guy to be around. He was he was always you know cracking her up. So remember him in Zoolander? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know. He was a he was a good uh, a good actor too. He played some pretty serious roles also. But as far as being he funny, in- man, he was hilarious. I think he was in, uh, remember the taking of Palom one, two, three, the original. No, he played a cop in that. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, see, I remember him way back when, uh, he was on the Ed Sullivan show with, uh, still and Mira. I mean, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. His wife was his wife to me, his wife was more familiar to me at first than he was. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he just played the grumbly old man and she was the, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a nice Jewish couple kind, kind of comedy. It was it was pretty funny though. I always liked it. My dad hated yeah. it, but I liked it. So yeah, that was I, yeah. I liked him. Um, he was good, and his son obviously was talented. Although you don't see him much anymore. Yeah, well, he's probably directing more or something. Maybe he isn't or yeah. producing or something. I don't know. Well, I heard uh, Jan Brady left him, so or they got divorced. Jan Brady, and she was his wife. Remember his wife. Uh, she's the one who played Jan Brady and all the Marsha, 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 or Jan yeah. Brady. Jan Brady. Oh, not Jan. Uh, Marsha Brady. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Marsha, yeah, Marsha, Marsha. Well, she was kind of weird anyway. What the heck yeah. is her name? Marine something. Well, this, this was no. This was not the original one. Oh. This was the one who played it in the the remakes. Oh, with, uh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. 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 
So, and she was in Zoolander. She played, was it Zoolander? Yeah, she was in Zoolander. She was the reporter in Zoolander. Okay, all right, yeah. And then she was in uh, Dodgeball. Yeah, and she looked like Marsha Brady. Um, you know, of yeah, course. Yeah, she looked like, exactly like Marsha yeah, Brady. Yeah, it was kind of weird. All righty. All right, Don't Dougie. Carry eyes. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Dougie, what's his head? He's leaving, <laughs> he's leaving the building. All right, man, take care. Bye. All right, bye.